Hi, I'm Michael, the guy whose wild Friday night consists of drinking a whole bottle of peach kombucha and window shopping for film cameras. Sometimes I even buy one. So about a month or two before isolation, I went on a trip to Wilson's Prom. So for this trip I bought my Lomo fisheye camera, my JVC Iberio camcorder, and also my A7 III. So the reason I brought these extra cameras was because I want to explore some other mediums than just digital photography. So I figured I'd try film as well. Now every morning I'm at the prom, I always try to make the effort to wake up at around 5am to watch the sunrise, no matter how cold it is. So this trip I actually didn't get many good morning photos, but I did manage to get these two on my fisheye. So I was shooting on Kodak Ultra Max, which is a 400 ISO film, and honestly I'm really happy with how it rendered the colours. I love that the landscape is in shadow while you have this purple to white gradient fading from the top of the frame to the middle. And in this photo I just love the symmetry, and also the colours again were... So wildlife is actually a big part of Wilson's Prom. And out of all the wildlife that live there, I think wombats have to be my favourite. So to get these photos, I actually had to walk through the lake. And this is definitely a moment of whatever you have to do to get the shot. So also on this trip, we went for a few walks. The one particularly was memorable because I was swarmed with flies. No one told me that flies were attracted to the colour blue, and I got told that while wearing a completely blue outfit. However, we did see some cool birds on the walk, so it kind of was worth it. Fucking shit fucking flies! Oh my god, I'm going to fucking chop my legs off. After we went on our walk, I got this photo here. So the sunsets at Wilson's Prom is probably something I look forward to the most because every time they're so damn pretty. I mean even the moon came to say hi. So this silhouette is known by the locals as the Naked Lady, but I like to refer it as the Giant Rocky Boob. And as we zoom in here, you'll see a small thin nipple. That's actually a lighthouse. Someone lives on top of the Giant Rocky Boob. So that brings us to our last day, but unfortunately it was cut short due to smoke. Now I don't know if you remember, but at this time half of Australia was on fire, so it was pretty hard to escape smoke. Although I did get some good photos from that morning, thanks to a family of ducks that wanted to get their portraits taken. So after I'd finished the little ducky portrait shoot, and emailed him a copy of course, it was time to leave. Now I didn't take any camcorder footage on the way home, however I do have these drive-by cow photos for you to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed joining me on my trip, and if you want to follow me for more adventures, you can subscribe or follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at MIGMedia. So I hope to see you again soon.